the live workshop on minimalistic approach of transcatheteric interventions in congenital and structural heart diseases organized by Bangladesh Specialist Hospital and Congenital Heart Desk. You will be happy to know that the session will be chaired by Professor Dr. Abdullah al Shaki Mojinder. He is a former director and professor of National Institute of Cardiovascular Diseases in ICBD. And the chief case uh, will be Professor Dr. Mohammad Shamsul Arifin, Chairman Bangladesh Specialist Hospital Limited. And the keynote speaker of this, that session will be uh, the pioneer <coughs> pedologist, the Independence Day uh, awardee, Brigadier General Professor Noonar Fatima Madam. She is the pediatric interventional cardiologist. And uh, she was the former uh, intervention cardiologist of CMH Thakur. And now she is uh, doing practice in Levit mainly, but uh, uh, also in different hospitals. She is uh, spreading her expertise to teach the students and also to do uh, the benefit for the aged pediatric cardiac patients. So it's a great opportunity for us and for the patients as well to have uh, a tr treatment a good treatment from this type of uh, personality. So the panel of experts of the symposium will be Professor Dr. Mohamed Absalur Rahman, former director and professor, National Institute of Cardiovascular Diseases, NICVD. Then Professor Dr. Mohamed Khaled Mohsin, professor and consultant cardiology, Bangladesh Specialist Hospital Limited. Professor Dr. Mead Jamaluddin, Director and Professor, National Institute of Cardiovascular Diseases, NICVD, and Professor Dr. Abdul Walid Choudhury, Professor and Head of the Department, Department of Cardiology, Dhaka Medical College and Hospital, Dhaka. Actually, the Indian doctors and all the doctors from the European country and Western country, other uh, American, they said you should not do this because this is not, uh, this is contraindicated in the newborn because if you pass these balloons through the femoral artery, patient will have problem with the femoral artery and you will lose the limb. But in our country, we have no surgeons who are doing this. So what to do? I think every day patients are coming and they have to die if we don't do anything. So what I did, I, I have started doing this since very beginning 2000, I think. And now we are doing this routinely. Even if surgeon can do, we will not refer because we are so much good in this procedure now and none of our patient has uh, lost their limbs. For the shunt anomalies you have seen today, we have done ASD, BSD, PDA, in already we have done in nine cases. So these are actually performed in little bit older children, little bit safe procedure, and if you have skill, you can do these procedures at least safely. So about the atrial septal defect in our country, we have started in 2000, and so far, we did like about 1600 cases, uh, many of them are actually adult. So you are seeing here those who are uh, not doctors sitting here, you will get some interest, you are seeing that there is a hole here and this is the device closing it. So this is the way and the, the, the hole is here now. So this is the way we do it. You can visit our website also and you can see this procedure, those who are not Doctor, you will understand better. Ventricular septal defect, we are uh, already we have done more than 1,000, and this is the animation you are seeing that this hole is the ventricular septal defect, and we can close it with the device like this. So, this is for understanding of the people who are not doctor. And today we did one procedure like this. This procedure was my innovation in 2011. One of the lady uh, was crying for closing her BSD with the device, but her BSD was subiotic. I said you should go for the surgery, but she was crying. She um, caught my hand and she was begging that you did so many cases, but why not for me? Then I looked towards our shelf. I found this um, device at you too, and I said okay, I will try with that. And I go retrospectively. Actually, this is not the proper procedure of the BSD device closer. But I did that uh, within maybe 10 minutes in that lady. And then I was encouraged from that procedure. And since then I am doing like this. Maybe only few cases I do like classical procedures for, by forming artery and a slope. Today I did one case like this. And then PDA device closer we have started uh, in long ago in 1998. This is the very common uh, disease in our country. Among the congenital heart disease, PDA is very common. And you are seeing here that about 2,561 cases we did already. 
and we can close it by coil, we can close it by device. This morning we close one of the PDA here with the coil and others with the device. So you are seeing here and if we can show you this one, you can see this is the animation and this is the structure which is PDA, this one is aorta and this is pulmonary artery and this is the communication and we are doing here. And coronary artery fistula is another problem. We have seen in many cases coronary artery directly entering to the heart without supplying the surface of the heart. We know that coronary artery is the uh, artery which supplies the muscular surface and all the actually layers of the heart. But sometimes it fails to supply. It directly enters into the cavity of the heart when you call it coronary cameral fistula. And we can close that with the device. You are seeing here that we are closing one with the coil, but in most of the cases we close them with the device. And this is a very uh, a nice uh, procedure. Otherwise, there is too much left to right shunt and there is heart failure. Many of the patients come to us with heart failure and we don't find any cause. In that case, we have to look for the coronary fistula. Now, stenting in congenital heart disease has become a very glamorous subject now, not only in those neonates. In many, many um, uh, other situation now we are doing this stent like in the pulmonary artery, in the coarctation of aorta. So he were, here you are seeing the stent in the pulmonary artery in this photograph, in this video. Uh, here you are seeing that the stent. And then in these pictures you are seeing the stent in the coarctation. I will show you one if there is. So this is the CT angiogram you are showing critical coarctation. So if the patient is older one, more than 15 kg, you can go directly for stenting. Because balloon dilatation sometimes need repeat balloon angioplasty. So in older children and adults, we do stenting more than that of the balloon dilatation. So this was one of our case you are seeing here. Uh, and this is the part we are doing. So this is the cover stent we are inflating with the balloon and this is the part after balloon dilatation. So you are seeing that that was very small part and now it is opened up. And for the intervention of the valves and tracks, valves and tracks has become a very big subject now. All five, all four valves, they are amenable to various kinds of valve replacement or valve repair. And there are some kind of device now available for valve repair also, like mitral clip, like others. So transcatheter heart valve replacement is a separate subject now. Many of the specialists, they are taking training only for the valve. So in our country, if anyone can go for the valve only, we have so many valvular cases and uh, we, our patient will be benefited. So tricuspid valve treatment option, you can see that we can do with the device tricuspid valve. This is a tricuspid valve clip and these are the uh, actually uh, like melody valve, these are some other valve, self-expandable valve for the tricuspid valve position. In mitral valve position, there are so many valves nowadays available. If you search, you will find that there are so many beautiful options of valves. In the transcutaneous pulmonary, pulmonary we are mainly using melody for the patient who already had conduit in the right ventricular outflow tract. But in some cases, there is no conduit, only the bare repair with the patch. In those cases, we can use self-expandable. These are the self-expandable uh, ultra valve like P valve, venous P valve, these are available for uh, actually for naked RBOT. And this is the aortic valve which has become a very glamorous subject for the adult cardiologist and uh, structural cardiologist because more, many adult population they are having some kind of changes in the aortic valve for the aging process, there is calcification and so many patients are coming with the aortic valvular disease. And this is a, actually easy also. It is easy than that of the pulmonary valve because you can very easily enter into the uh, retrograde approach. You can very easily enter into the through the aortic valve and you can place this device. So these are the uh, these are about the valves and uh, we do actually in the children we don't go because those valves need very large sheet like 22, 24 French size which are not possible in children. So in children we usually prefer balloon. So these are the uh, balloon dilatation of the pulmonary valves and then I'm going to clear this part. So this is the pulmonary valve implantation, baby Rukaya. Uh, the first case, Johnny, there was uh, a proctor with me from Saudi Arabia, King, uh, King Faisal Specialist Hospital. 
But this case I did alone after few months of the first case. And then aortic valvuloplasty it is a very difficult procedure. Many patients die during this procedure. So this is the one with the critical aortic valve stenosis we are seeing and we are uh, pacing sometime. We need to increase the heart rate by pacing because this aortic valve is the main valve and always the, with the systole, balloon pushed upwards. So keep the balloon in position. We want to decrease the cardiac output by increasing the heart rate. And in that case, we use the pacing wire for decreasing the cardiac output and to stabilize the patient uh, balloon in the proper position. This is the mitra clip and I am not going to the mitra clip. If you can see the animation, this is very beautiful but these delivery systems are very large and need a healthy person like more than 25 kg, 30 kg and you can close it. You are seeing here the MRZ and now you are seeing the clip has stopped that MR. And then balloon coarctoplasty, I already have shown you. This is a patient with PDA device already had done and now there is coarctation and we are opening with the balloon. And after that, there is scope of structural intervention. We know that patent foramen ovale is a normal structure in many person and uh, it usually remains silent. But sometimes it may cause stroke. So if there is one episode of stroke in a patient with PFO, it should be closed because there will be subsequent A study, one of the doctor, I think he will be friend of many of you. Uh, he works in Square Hospital, I have just forgotten his name. He came yesterday, he had a stroke. And then PFO was identified and he came to me yesterday for closure of that PFO. He has CABG already one month ago and after that, he went home and he had stroke. Then they searched in USA and they found that there is PFO. Now he came to me, I said, hey, please go to USA and do that because you have opportunity. But he said, no, I want to do it in Bangladesh. And I am actually worried I want to do on that doctor estate because these are too much of the stress. If you take responsibility of a person, you are in too much of the stress. So this PFO, we are doing in many cases, they are coming to us with stroke or with migraine. And we are searching whether there is any PFO, especially for the migraine case, we are getting so many migraine cases having PFO and migraine is due to that PFO and I close many of those and uh, they get rid from migraine. So you are seeing here this is the PFO uh, closing with the helix device and this one is with the normal PFO device of the normal companies like Ampezard and, and Oclutec. They have PFO. PFO device is little bit different from other devices. You are seeing here that left atrial disc here and the right atrial. In normal ASD device, left atrial disc is larger, right atrial disc is smaller, but in PFO, left atrial disc is small and right atrial disc, because PFO is a tunnel. If you overlap it, then it will... Uh, this is easy procedure than that of the ASD device. Because there is flap, they will overlap on each other and it will close by itself. So, and this is one of the BSR in our hospital few months ago, maybe three, four months maybe. And this is a lady, Anwara, 65 years old. She had MI from the right coronary artery involvement, anterior MI. And she had large uh, apical muscular BSD. You are seeing that I am trying with the conventional device, but we failed. Then I, I placed a large ASD device because I was not getting anything to close that big hole. So a large ASD device of uh, 28 millimeter size was implanted and, and that was closed. So this is the BSR, these are structural interventions. And left atrial appendage is very important because you know left atrial appendage is the most important site for thrombus formation in non-valvular case of arrhythmias, especially in atrial fibrillation. So in country where the patient are non-compliant, like Western country patient are really non-compliant, uh, they don't have any caretaker at their home, they don't have any children, the older people like 70, 80 years old, 90, 100 years old, they don't take their medicine properly. So in those cases, they, this is a very um, very common procedure in those countries. And every day they do many cases of left atrial appendage closure. So there are many, I did one uh, case only, as I am not an adult cardiologist, uh, people never refer these cases. But this is very good for those cases who are non-compliant with the warfarin or with the anticoagulant drug uh, and with atrial fibrillation. So these, there are many kind and as this uh, part of this group of population are 
too much in western country they are developing this kind of devices very frequently and they are working on that uh, they are giving their report on development of those kind of devices this is one of my nightmare in the kethlev i just want to tell you uh, this is the coaptation and at that time the uh, machine go out of order and i was in the middle of the procedure and then i i had only one monitor in the control room which was working so seeing that monitor from here to there and i was doing here so i i actually could not forget that that one that was a small child and this is one more dangerous than the previous one the one which i was telling you this one this is a pda coil you are seeing while i was in half of the procedure machine goes out of order and then what to do? At that patient was a cerebral, cerebral palsy and he was not sleeping. It was very difficult to sedate this child for the procedure. And parents were, were telling, we will not come back again. Uh, this child is very abnormal. Please do it some, uh, do it today. So I went to the orthopedic sortie. I heard that there is a CR machine there. So I went to the orthopedic sortie and I did the procedure there. With the, with, uh, there was no angiography or nothing, just on freezing on my <coughs> brain. I did that and when I finished, I, I looked back and I saw that Major General Harun, he was our consultant surgeon, he was standing behind and he was asking what she is doing. Is she mad? She is doing this and she will have accident and will be in trouble. But Alhamdulillah, that was very nice and we get rid from that. So you have to do something, but you have to do that nicely. You have to do that with responsibility, and you have to do that safely. So I will request you at the end to learn CPR. Please learn CPR, everyone. If you see somebody on the road like this, don't pass away. Stop there, help the guy who is in danger. Then you will be a good human being. Leaving the side, keeping yourself safe, Keeping yourself away from the hassle of the police is not the job of a good human being. Please stand there, do something, help them. Your transient CPR will be enough to save the life of a patient. Amra eguli campaign kori bina poisha amra ishomosto CD guli video gula baniya amra diye dichi from Madhur Manone Sa Foundation which is my parents' foundation. <coughs> and use but even then I am very happy because benefited by CPR. CPR transient inhibition. So everyone, does not matter if doctor is doctor. CPR is a doctor. doctor Quarter of the Pondrota book on the chart did the Habe, Jure Jure, Art, Pondrota correct the Mukim on the Jure the Shash did the Ahole, the Hazaji Rugi Bechigas, Tapore the Doctor Pawaja, we can do Rasta Tiki Doctor Thakbe, Ahole Doctor as a beast taki. Somebody should work as a beach. A beast town is very good. So after a Shobai, a Etar is Tami Bolchi, after the Shobai K. J. Eta checked a choking. They can Amar made upon the first day medical college at Hoklo. London, so I said, what did you say to me? I said, I am a Hemlick man. And I said, what did you say to me? What did you say to me? This accident is not a bad person. If you don't have a bad person, you don't have a bad person. I said, what did you say to me? I said, 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 so, if you have a man who is not a man, you can't get a man who is not a man. If you have a man who is not a man, you can't get a man who is not a man. You can't get a man who is not a man. You can't get a man who is not a man. You can't get a man who is not a man. You can't get a man who is not a man. You can't get a man who is not a man. You can't get a man who is not a man. You can't get a man who is not a man. You can't get a man who is not a man. You can't get a man who is not a man. You can't get a man who is not a man. Good to know, but these things, CPR and these are must to know. Otherwise, you doctor will say, it's a doctor will say. So, I'm going to see how many doctors are not going to be able to do it, but I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to see how many doctors are not going to be able to do it. So, this girl was playing. And I'm not a doctor. But she saved her child. 
পিঠে দিছে ওটা হয় নাই এখন দেখে পেটের মধ্যে দিচ্ছে इनशाला मन रखे ट्रेनिंग Our awareness program played pivotal role in shift of paradigm from untreated older children and NCS to just poor population with congenital heart disease. जो भी हमारे आज से लम्बे पूनो दिन नवजात और देखी नहीं, बोलते हैं नवजात और कि heart disease रोग है ना कि उन्हें कि पागल हुए से एक लोग की बोलते हैं. So I was called by people like that. जो भी नहीं बोलता मैं एक लोग ही बोलता हूँ. So अस्ते अस्ते देखा कि लोग अपन आमादेन आप बोला लगे ना आमादेन � डिपार्टमेंट डिपार्टमेंटिकार प्रचेषा कर सार्थक्यम शिक्षा पाई सामने आयोजन
these are unbelievable. Today I feel that I had a sister, young sister. I feel that she had fellow stratology. I was not a medical student at that time, I was a student of class four or five. And I used to see that she used to, after a little walk, she used to have a squatting position and she became blue. And after a little bit of time, she again she became all right. And we lost her when she was not in high. I know that it is less than that. Is. So now I feel that at that time we have been told that there is no treatment of this sort of problem in our country, even there is no eco category. Now we see that it's a time that one can rejuvenate, give a second life to such patients. So it's really, really, we are very, very proud. And as the chairman of this hospital, I take the right that Dr. Brigadier General, Dr. Nurun Nahapadma, who has got the highest honor of this country, and I think she is the only person who is being honored for this hypothetical expertise. We don't have any, any other doctor in our country who has given this sort of honor by the country for his or her technical expertise. So I really congratulate her for her expertise and she has done a lot for the country. And I am very happy and we are very happy that she will be with us in our hospital. She will be working with us and we have got a lot of enthusiastic doctors. I hope somebody will get a test passively, some will, some will learn something from us. Because this is not an educational institution, we cannot take students like that in HCMH or any other uh, hospital in the country. But still, there are a lot of things that one can learn from seeing the others. And if she is here, I hope this hospital will be much, much benefited. And I would expect that she will enjoy her stay in our hospital. Today she has expressed some of her dissatisfaction regarding the government of our cardiology department here. So I assured her that we have been working on this. And we had a meeting with the cardiologist. We have got a very heavyweight cardiologist in our hospital. We have got four directors and all of this National Health Cardiology Institute. Department Director General and President Director General is also working here. Dr. Shafi Mazumdar is here, Dr. Abdul Rahman is here, and OB Director General Dr. Wadud Chabu is also here. So this is, we are very lucky then at the same uh, week. Then, you will be here. So that will be a completion. We have got a very good cardiac surgeon. And we are going to set up a cardiology, uh, uh, cardiac institute, institute of cardiac surgery and cardiology. It's a matter of time, and we'll have it, inshallah. So with these few words, <coughs> I want to conclude. I, I congratulate again, and the participants who have come from different institutes, especially from CMH, as a team member from the Levitt Hospital, uh, and they have given their time, their holiday time, and I must be thankful to them to enrich us with new knowledge and to show us new technologies and I hope that this sort of exchanges and this sort of workshop will go on in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. We are thankful to Professor Dr. Mohammed Shamsul Arifin. We are uh, showing our gratitude for arranging this type of first ever live workshop on minimalistic approach of transcatheter interventions in congenital and structural heart disease that we have been observing since early morning of this holiday. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am very happy to announce that Professor Dr. Abdullah Al Shafi Majumdar, former director and professor, National Institute of Cardiovascular Diseases, NICDD, has ornamented the chair of the chairperson today. So I humbly request uh, Sir to say a few words about this program. Thank you. Brigadier Nuruna Fatimata Amadeh, Nijadeh Lok, Kaji Takeh Amit Thunubadhan Jamaat Parima. 
নিজেদের মধ্যে তার ধন্যবাদ বের হয় না আমার সাথে অনেক দিনের এই একসাথে আমরা কাজ করার অভিজ্ঞতা আছে ইন্টারন্যাশনাল সোসাইটি অফ কার্ডিও স্কুলার দা সাউন্ডের আমাদের চ্যাপ্টার যখন আমি তৈরি করি শি ওয়াজ দি ওয়ান অফ দি ফাউন্ডিং মেম্বারস কাজেই এমন তাকে দেখেছে যে কিভাবে শি ইজ ইনভলভ ইন দি অর্গানাইজেশন টিচিং ট্রেনিং এখানে কিভাবে শি ইজ অলসো গুড কন্ট্রিবিউটর টু দি কার্ডিও স্কুলার জার্নাল হুইচ এডিটেড বাই মি রেগুলার কন্ট্রিবিউটর তারপর তো বই আছে এটা আপনারা জানেন এবং বাংলাদেশের সর্বোচ্চ বেসামরিক যে এই সম্মাননা স্বাধীনতা পদক যার জন্য আমরা এই জায়গাতে এই খেলতে ওই ফেলিসিটেট হার এতগুলি গুণাবলী তার মানবিক গুণাবলী তো আছেই সব কিছু মিলিয়ে যে বাংলাদেশ স্পেশাল হাসপাতালটা অনেক অনার ফিল করে যে শি বিলংস টু দিস হসপিটাল এবং আমরা আশা করি যে উনি হয়তো তার ভবিষ্যতের কর্মজীবনে একটা বড় অংশ আমাদের হাসপাতালের সাথে আমাদের সাথে ওনার বই সম্বন্ধে রিসেন্টলি যে বইটা ওনার বের হয়েছে ফাতেম এবং আমার এই কার্ডিও স্কুল জার্নালে এটার এই রিভিউ বের হয়েছে দেখেছেন না আর দেখেন এবং দেশে না শুধু বিদেশেও থেকে আমি জানি ভেরিক <laughs> 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 and that being there you can uh, understand the language of the pediatric care so ei somosto miliye ajke amader fortunate enough je uni amader ekhane katte byabohar korlen ebong tini ekhane amader kichu shikhno dile ekta missionary ekta jil tar modhe ache eta important je cpr cpr training kintu amra bangladesh special hospital er amader chairman chair barbar bole je cpr training chara ekhane धन्यवाद ওয়ার্কশপ <laughs> 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 minimalistic approach of trans catheter interventions in congenital and structural heart disease since early morning of this holiday one this holiday morning so i hope you will enjoy again after the symposium ends uh, again we uh, the live workshop will be conducted by brigadier general professor noonar fatima madam and her team so dear viewers uh, i hope you all will enjoy it and uh, thank you for being with us thank you again